hypocrites, hypocrite in the church, pretending, hypocrite in the nation, everywhere is on fire, watch them. Ah! Hello out there, I am Apostle Isio Nyojindwaka, I come to you once again with the gospel of peace, with the message of peace, with the campaign of peace. I am campaigning for peace because I need peace. You need peace. Every Nigerian person need peace. Somebody asked me last month in one of my outings and uh, the question was what do I stand to gain um, this is my crusade for peace. Simply I say many things. I stand to gain much. A lot. So many. I stand to gain love. Stand to gain the unity of Nigeria. I stand to gain that my brothers in the north and the south were all alive. I stand to gain that someone is happy. I stand to gain as somebody is making money. I stand to gain as somebody is going to school. I stand to gain as people are moving around doing one thing or the other. That's what I stand to gain in my crusade. I gain nothing see my people dying like fowls. I gain nothing see my people being slaughtered every day. I gain nothing. I gain nothing. Absolutely nothing. You see, how do you feel when you hear that somebody's husband is massacred? How do you feel when you hear that somebody's father is massacred? How do you feel when you hear that somebody's uncle has been slaughtered? How do you feel when you hear that somebody's kinsman, kinsmen, kinswomen has been massacred? How do you feel? I feel terrible. I feel bad. I feel abnormal when I hear all this. How this happening in my country. In my lovely country. I feel terrible. And that's why I am carrying out this crusade of peace to ensure that everyone join in this crusade and listen to me and listen to yourself and listen to your brother, listen to your sister, listen to your father, listen to those that are singing the song of peace to your hearing. We need peace. You cannot live alone in this country. You cannot live alone in this country. No one can live alone. You cannot be an island. We need each other to succeed. You need me and I need you. We need one another. Please. Be a people. We need each other. I do not understand why people always make trouble. I want to enumerate to every Nigerian what we stand to gain when we are peaceful. We gain foreign investors that will come to invest huge amount of money in our country. Two, we gain love of each other. You love me and I love you. Then, three, we gain peace. Four, we live in a peaceful environment. You sleep at night with your two eyes closed. Five, you go about your businesses and nobody harasses you, nobody molests you, and nobody is looking for you to cut off your head, and nobody is carrying gun to follow you around. These are things minimum. We start to gain a lot. And that's why I'm begging the present and past leaders of this country, you've done so well. You've tried. You've done nobly well. Please, but do more. Do more. You are men and women of Timba and Caliber, men that can talk and people will listen. Mr. President, sir. <laughs>
You are a great man. You've done well. Please, sir. Do more. Talk to people. You are a man of principle. You are a man of policies. Please do worse. Do more, sir. Do more. I am also asking the state governors. You've done well in your states. It's not easy to be a leader. No, it's not easy to be a leader. Leadership is made by God. No one can make himself a leader. It's only Almighty God that can make one a leader. So you've done well. As a state governor, I beg you, please do more. Do more. Talk to people. Look at government chairman. Even the royal fathers, the kings of kingdoms. You've done well. Please, let's come together and sing this song of peace. Talk to your children. Talk to your brothers. Talk to your tribal men. Talk to your kinsmen. Talk to, talk to everybody. Talk to your children. Talk to somebody. Talk to, just talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Tell somebody to lay down arms. Tell, talk to somebody. I, I'm also begging the past leaders. Please, our past leaders, great men, wonderful men, men that have contributed a lot in, you know, to ensure the unity of this nation. Chief Olusego Basan Josa, you are a great daddy. Please, I beg you, talk more, sir. Talk more. Do more, sir. You are a man that when you talk, people listen. Please do more, sir. And I also talk to Baramos uh, 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 Babangida, General Babangida. He's a great man. You are a man. You, 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 you can talk and men will listen. Please, sir, do more. Talk more. Sir, about Abdul Salami Abaka, sir. You, you, you're a wonderful leader. Please do more, sir. You're a man that can talk and people will listen, sir. Talk more, sir. Uh, 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 Doctor, good luck, Jonathan. Please talk more, sir. Present and past leaders, please, sir. you done well. you done well. I salute you. I salute your courage. It's not easy to keep a great nation like this together. You've done well, sir. I'm also talking and thanking and thanking and thanking our soldiers. I'm talking and thanking our soldiers. They've done well. We have the greatest, the best soldiers in the world. The best soldiers in the world. Our soldiers are the best in the world. You've done well. Please do more, sirs. Do more, sirs. Uh, we've lost great, gallant officers in this fight. But I'm begging you, please, do more. We have the best police, best security uh, uh, agents. We have best Navy, best Air Force, best land soldiers, best police, everything. Nigeria has the best materials. We have the best materials. God bless us with human resources and material resources. We are great people. I know one day we will become a powerful nation. One day we'll become world power. I believe that. I believe in Nigerian project. I keep saying it. The headache of Nigeria is African diarrhea. When Nigeria is having headache, the whole Africa will have diarrhea. And I keep saying it. Nigeria is African project. Africa should know this. Black people all over the world should know this. That Nigeria headache is African diarrhea. The whole world should also know this. When small, small countries are having crisis, people will troop into the neighboring countries. Now, a country that has over 180 million people, if there is headache in such country, then only Lagos State can take over Cotonou, take over Togo, take over all the places. And I want to say to you that Nigeria headache is African diarrhea. Listen to me. Every black man, anywhere you find yourself, so long as you're a black man, understand that Nigeria is African project. Nigeria is African project. I keep singing it. Don't allow headache on Nigeria. Do not allow headache on Nigeria. Do not allow headache in, on Nigeria. Because when Nigeria is sick, the legs of Africans are broken. You may not like this, but that is the fact. And that's why African Union must ensure that Nigeria does not have headache. European Union, please, 
ensure that Nigeria does not have headache. Asians, please, ensure that Nigeria does not have headache. Americans, ensure that Nigeria does not have headache. Because Nigeria headache is African diarrhea. That's truth, and that's the fact. We must live in peace so that Africa will be peaceful. When Nigeria is peaceful, Africa is, will be peaceful. When Nigeria is troubled, the entire Africa is troubled. The entire black race is having problem. Now let me say this to all black people. Anywhere you find yourself, no matter your nationality, remember Nigeria is the project of Africa. Nigeria is a gold in Africa, in a black man's hand. Nigeria is a gold man. You must not allow this gold to get damaged. If you damage this gold, you have rubbish the vision of black man. Oh yes, you may not like it, but it's the truth. Oh yes, oh it doesn't matter your tribe. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your nationality. It doesn't matter the language you speak. But so long as you're a black man, Nigeria is your project. Have this in mind. That the headache of Nigeria is African diarrhea. I love you once again. Headache of Nigeria is African diarrhea. I love you for the second time. I love you. I love you. I love you. That's why I'm saying this. I love you. You in Ghana, I love you. You in South Africa, I love you. You in Nigeria, in Egypt, I love you. Anywhere you find yourself, I love you. Americans, Europeans, Asians, and Oceanic, every human being that God created, I love you. Do not allow headache on Nigeria because that will cause a lot of diarrhea in Africa. Long life, Africa. Long live the whole world. Long live. Peace, 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 and peace.